Meet Gande. When she came into the world, her mother didn't seem to warm up to her. She had a great birth, and then we just kind of noticed that she wasn't doing the maternal things she needed to do as well as she was doing. Because it does take, um, you know, newer moms a little bit of time to figure out what they're doing. She just wasn't picking it up. She wasn't really interested. So that's when staff had to intervene. We did some testing. We found out she was deaf. Um, we're not exactly 100% sure if that was the real reason why she wasn't taking the best care of Gandhi or not. It could have definitely played into that role. Without her mother's care, Gandhi was very vulnerable and would not survive those first critical months. In order to take care of a baby gorilla, a mom would be with it 24 seven, never putting it down. It would always be um, on mom, nursing and all that kind of stuff. And so basically our staff stepped in to be mother gorillas. And we just had someone with her all day long, all night long, um, and feeding her bottles and things like that. Just trying to get her to be a gorilla. All right, so let's talk about the situation right now because it looks like, well, she has a family. Yes, which is an amazing story. So she does finally have a family. Um, we kind of hand reared her for about four months. We identified Valera, who was her surrogate mom right now. And we identified Valera because Valera had been a proven mom before. Well, it looks like the family is thriving right now. And it's interesting because you keep talking about the time and the dedication. A lot of times, like people like myself will come to the zoo and you just know the zoo from the hours when it opens and when it closes. But there's so much that happens way beyond those hours yes. every day. Yes, so we have a very dedicated staff here at the Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens. and. We do everything from cleanup after them to preparing meals to preparing enrichment, um, which is kind of either a toy or a fun novel item that they haven't had. We prepare that every day for them. So a lot of our blood, sweat and tears goes into these guys every day. And especially when you have a situation like um, a rearing with Gandhi, it really took a team effort in order to get her to where she is right now, which is a completely functioning, gorilla infant um, who has a surrogate mom and a surrogate dad and is doing great. Absolutely, and again, congratulations with all the hard work. This is another success story. You look out right now and she's playing around, the mom's right by her side. Just puts a smile on my face and I know it does yours as well. Yes, it does. We had a lot of people come together for her, so she's very special to a lot of people here at the zoo.